Hello friends, welcome to the next lecture of UML lecture series. In this video, we are going to discuss about another important UML diagram that is activity diagram and we will discuss each and every notation with example. So let's start with a brief introduction of activity diagram. So they are basically looks like flow chart, but they are not exactly the flow chart. Even their notations are different from the flow chart notations. They represent the dynamic behavior of the system like interaction diagrams and they are, rep they are representing the flow of control from one activity to another but it doesn't show any message from one activity to another activity it means they are not representing the data flow from one activity to another activity they are just representing the flow of control from one action to another action from one behavior to another behavior of the application. They also provide swim lanes, fork and join nodes to deal with the sequential, branched, concurrent or alternate flows. So all these options are available with the flow uh, with the activity diagram to deal with the complex flows. So let's start with the notations. So first notation here we have the initial state. Unlike flowchart where we use the oval to represent the start or the initial state of the flowchart, here we are using this small circle, small filled circle to represent the initial state and next we have, so it is like the start of the starting state of the activity diagram and next notation we have a double circle means the inner circle is a filled circle and that is covered by the boundary circle and this is known as a final state or we can say that to represent the end of the complete activity we will be using this notation like in theory of computation in automata we use double circle to represent the final state and final state is an acceptable state so here this is the ending state represented by the solid circle surrounded by one boundary circle and next is the activity so activities are going to represent your behavior means your action that you are going to present with activity diagram and an application or a system can have multiple activities uh, that that are completing in sequential manner alternate manner concurrent manner or in any way so here the activities will be represented by the rounded rectangular box with activity diagram so let's take the example but, but before that to represent the flow from one activity to another activity we will be using the arrows so these headed arrows are representing the control flow from one activity to another in the direction of progressive flow means the arrow will head it towards the destination of the activity flow next we have the example of a game where we have the first state or initial state as a starting of the game and after that we have only two labels so from first or means the start state we are moving to the level one and from that level one we are moving to level two and after that we are having the end of the activity diagram so this is a simple activity diagram not the complex where we have swim lanes fog and joints we will see all those notations later so here it is representing the flow of activity means we can not move to level 1 directly for that we need to pass through the start game first activity after that we we can move to level 1 and only after that we can move to level 2 so next notation is the join so join are used to represent two or more concurrent activities in one flow so they are joining or they are accepting two or more concurrent activities as input but it is providing one activity as the output so here the two input activities are the concurrent activity means the parallel activities for the activity diagram and next we have the fork so it is taking one activity as input and having multiple activities as output so it is splitting the single activity flow into multiple concurrent flow so after this single activities if it is splitting the activity into two flows to further concurrent flow so all those concurrent flows must be 
happening or must be processing at the same time must be uh, processing these activities at the same time so concurrent means at the same time so let's take an example here we have the example of atm withdrawal where after the operation start means you have uh, verified your pin you are you have already entered your amount and your amount is greater than uh, less than your balance then in that case the atm machine will disperse the cash and it will represent the slip and it will also show the balance on your uh, on the screen so we have two concurrent activities for this action as take the money as cash is there and also uh, receive your balance slip so all the these two activities are the concurrent or parallel activities so these activities are converted from single flow to multiple flow using the fork node so this is your fork node now after the operation or the withdrawal is successful then you need to or atm will eject the card and you are done with this with this complete action so for that we need the join node that can combine these two concurrent operations to one outgoing flow so this uh, this is known as the join node for the activity diagram after this we have end of the activity okay so there can be many other cases we will see the example of atm in later slides next we have the decision it is similar to the flow charts where we have one incoming and multiple outgoing depending on the condition so here we have the decision and along with decision you need to mention the condition means true or false yes or no or any other notation or any other parameter you need to mention for your condition so it is representing or it is splitting the flow to two or more paths coming out of a decision and the conditional text let you know about the pos uh, possible option means if you have one condition depending on that condition you are having multiple options either you can go with the first flow or you can go with go with the second flow or there can be a third flow as well okay so depending on the value of the condition you can go with or you can continue with any of the outgoing flow next we have the merge node so merge node as you can see is reverse of the uh, of the decision node here we have two or more alternate activities as input so two or more alternate flows as input as here it is it is representing the two flows as input first is this and the second flow is this and it is providing one outgoing flow so here we can have two or more alternate flows to select one possible outgoing so here two or more uh, alternate flows are merged but we will be having only one outgoing activity from the merge node so let's take the example if we are placing some order and we have two conditions like if the order is a special order then we need to gift pack it or in other case if the order is a regular one then we simply deal it in a sim uh, in like a regular means we are not packing that order and in last we simply need to dispatch the order okay so here we have this decision means on the basis of this condition whether we are packing the gift packing the order or we are not packing the order so these flows are representing the alternate flows because these flows are not happening at the same time so either you go with this or with this okay so you cannot have both conditions true at the same time you cannot follow both path both concurrent path at the same time so here we will be having a decision box but after decision we need to dispatch in both cases so if the order is regular or the order is special for both cases we have one uh, next activity as dispatch so to represent such type of relationship we need to represent it with merge node so here we are merging the alternate flow means either the flow is from the regular node or from the gift pack activity so in both cases next action is dispatch 
so alternate flows are represented with a merge node so let's take the example of merge and join to differentiate their difference we can say that means where we can apply merge and where we can use the join node so this is our join example where we were using this as the fork node and this as the join operation and next we have this to represent the merge operation and the decision operation so this is our decision node and this is our merge node now try to understand the difference here both activities means once the atm has authenticated the user and validated the pin so after the withdrawal we are having a money and a balance slip so both activities are happening at the same time so we can join them with the join operator so this bar this bar is representing the join node and that join is joining two concurrent activities after happening these two activities uh, so after the completion of these two activities we are ejecting the card but if the order is placed either we can go with the first path or with the second path so we cannot have both path at the same time so to combine such type of behavior such type of flows we will be using merge not the join okay so such such type of alternate flow can be joined together with the merge node and if we have the parallel activity then we will be join them with the join node with a horizontal bar okay so next notation we have as the final flow node that is representing the end of a specific process flow means it is not representing the end of entire activity diagram so this is representing just the end of a specific path specific flow and next we have the note or comment so this is used to add the relevant information relevant documentation with any entity of the activity diagram so let's take the example suppose we are applying applying for uh, for a license and if the age is greater than 18 only in that case the documents will be processed only in that case document will be processed if the age is not satisfying the criteria then we can simply show the end of the flow with final flow node okay so this is uh, this is representing the end of this particular path particular flow and we can also add comment uh, for any entity in the activity diagram combined or joined together with the dash line so we can also add comment for the uh, for any activity like here we can also add the comment for this this activity we can also add the comment for this sorry we need to combine it with dash line we can also add comment for this decision box okay so these comments are for the documentation purpose to increase the understandability and last notation we have the partition or the swim lane so partitions and swim lanes are totally optional and they are used to represent the grouping of action carried out by different actors in a single thread means for one activity all the actions related or linked with one actor can be represented in one lane so we can we can book one lane for one actor and another lane for another actor and these lanes can be created horizontally or vertically note that these lanes are totally optional but we must use these type of partitions to represent the different actors activities so let's take the example where we have the first actor as atm and another actor as bank and atm is responsible for inserting the card means it is taking the card and prompting the user to enter the pin but it is the bank authority who can Uh, authenticate the card or valid validate the pin of the user so here these two activities are for this actor atm and this authenticate activity is for the bank actor so here the, uh, these different swim lanes are representing their boundaries means these activities must be uh, commenced by the atm and here 
this authenticate activity is related to the bank actor so let's take a complete example where we can have all the notations so we are taking example of atm uh, withdrawal transaction so here the first actor is atm and another is bank so after inserting the card so this is represented by the initial state and this is the first state the atm is prompting the user to enter the pin now who can authenticate the pin only the bank authority can authenticate the pin now we have two condition whether the pin would be valid or invalid so if the pin is valid so let's take the positive cases first so let's take the valid option so if the atm is valid then pin is valid then atm will prompt the user to enter the amount now we again have two conditions that we need to check the balance but if the balance is less than amount to be withdrawn then it must eject the card by showing the error or some warning so here again we have two conditions so if the balance is greater than amount or if the user is not having the sufficient funds to withdraw okay so second case is if the user is not having the sufficient funds so if the first condition is true let's take the positive cases only so here if the balance is sufficient means we can perform the withdrawal then we need to uh, represent uh, two concurrent activities like take the money and also take the balance slip so all these two concurrent activities are now connected through the fork node this is your fork node as we have taken the same example earlier now the after the completion or execution of these two activities we need to use the join node as these two are concurrent activities taking place at the same time then the card is rejected and the end of the activity diagram now let's take other leftover cases so if the card is invalid sorry if the pin is invalid so authenticate after authentication is failed then we must eject the card with a warning the second case is if the pin was valid we are entering the amount and checking the balance now we have the second case if the balance is not sufficient means amount is greater than the balance of the user then in that case too we need to eject the card with a warning right but here we cannot use the join node to join these two activities reason being because these two activities are non con not concurrent they are not happening at the same time but they are optional whether the pin is invalid if the pin is valid then we are moving forward to checking the balance then if we found that balance is not sufficient then we need to eject the card okay so here we have the alternate flows means at a time we are going to have only one flow either this or this either pin is not valid or the amount is not sufficient so such alternate flows can be combined with the help of merge node only not the join node okay so after this we can eject the card and here you can see that these two swim lanes are representing different actions associated with different actors so all these activities are for the atm and all these actions are linked with the bank actor right so here that's it for this video hope you learned about the activity diagram and if you have any doubt then you can write in the comment box in next video we'll see how to draw these activity diagrams with the with some online tool till then bye and take care